you, I almost have to remind myself, oh wait, I, I actually made this stuff up. This, this film in particular though, there's so much, at least at this point in the planning stages, there are so many moments that are directly from the comic. Um, there's so much dialogue in the script that is taken directly from the comic. Um, this one feels very different than the other films because it's, it, it's, while it's not a direct adaptation of one of my stories, it's taken so many pieces of so many of my stories and fit them together in a way that, that really works. It's not just, oh, here's an image we like, we're going to stick it in the movie. It's like, no, no, here's an image and a particular idea. It's got to be a lot easier when you're adapting a novel as opposed to adapting 25 years worth of a comic book because with 25 years of a comic book you've got so many different stories and so many different characters to pick and choose from and I think with this one the focus is one particular story but bringing in enough elements from the other Hellboy stories and the Hellboy related characters that you get the story I created, but you also get a look at a bigger, uh, you know, Hellboy world. And for me, it's actually kind of fun to 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 kind of get a, a second chance to create Hellboy. You know, we I did it for the comic, we sort of did it on the other movies, and now it's it's another chance to say, okay, we're doing in some ways something that's much more close to my material, but we're we're creating a a new variation on the Mignola Hellboy stuff. Um, I had never met Neil. I was a fan of Neil's work. Uh, I you know the the Descent in particular is one of my all time favorite horror films. So when Neil's name came up, I was uh, super excited. You know it's it's we had talked about a darker version of Hellboy even before Neil was attached. And then when Neil's name came up, you know, instantly you went, oh, okay, now we have a guy who can deliver a darker, uh, more grounded version of Hellboy. Uh, there'd never been a, an actor mentioned um, for playing Hellboy, but we were watching uh, Stranger Things, and my wife said, as soon as you saw David Harbour, she said, no, that guy could play Hellboy. And I think within two weeks, out of the blue, we never, I never mentioned that to anybody, but within two weeks, I got a call from, from Lloyd Levin saying, what would you think about David Harbour for Hellboy? So literally, David is the only name that ever came up for this version of Hellboy. It was so weird that, that you know, my wife, Christine, plucked it out of the air by just, just seeing him. I think it was almost, like, almost the first time he showed up on camera. She said, that guy should be be a hellboy so it's very weird when that actually happens i said yeah you're right that he'd be great